And Dan, you saw all of training camp. Uh, one guy you didn't see at all was uh, J.C. Treader, Brown Center. How big of a concern is it? Does anybody have a sense? Is he going to be ready to go week one? And if not, how big of a concern is that for this offense? Well, Kevin Stefanski has certainly not come anywhere close to ruling him out for week one. And, and the thing about Treader is if he's anywhere close, to being able to go, I think he'll go. This is a guy that played through a really nasty high ankle sprain a few a uh, few years ago, didn't miss a snap. And I know those guys, him and Batonio especially, take a lot of pride in the fact that they haven't missed a snap uh, since playing together. And he's going to try to keep that going. Now, if he's unable to go, that means you're going to have two rookies on that offensive line. You're going to have Jedrick Wills at left tackle, which you were planning for, of course. But now you're going to have one at center going against the Baltimore Ravens. And you lose some of that... Uh, institutional knowledge, if you will, because J.C. Treader has played the Ravens a bunch of times. He knows what they do. Even if the personnel is a little different, he knows what they do. And so that puts a little more onus on Betonio. He's going to have to help make some calls, and he's going to have to help guide that that rookie center along. It's a really tough position to throw a rookie out there, and then on top of that, you're going to have to go play another game four days later. Yeah, and, and the thing with Treader, if he's 75% physically, the thing that you miss uh, if he's unable to be out there is, is that making the calls and knowing exactly what everybody should be doing. And I think that's even more important than, and don't get me wrong, he's a really good offensive lineman physically, but it's that mental game and making the calls that uh, I think he excels in that the Browns would miss if, he's out, if he is not out there. And it's that trust he has with Baker Mayfield, too. That's one of those. We always talk about the quarterback-receiver relationship. We talk about guys Baker trusts in the receiving core. But, you know, that, that quarterback-center relationship is important, too, because they have to be able to see the same things. And, uh, again, when you've got a rookie left tackle out there, you love to have a guy at center who's going to be able to, to sort of take charge, be able to run the show on the offensive line, take some of that load off the Tonio because he's going to be busy helping out that left tackle over, over to his left. Uh, you know, just like having those two kind of rocks in the middle working together who know each other really well and, and frankly, fit this scheme perfectly.